Okay, in this video I'm just going to explain what this icon is and you'll find it on most DSLR or mirrorless cameras. What you'd find it generally referred to is the film plane, sensor plane or maybe even the focal plane indicator. So when you hear people referring to that, generally they're referring to that symbol on the camera. And then a few people had asked me kind of what it does and what it's for. So um, generally what you do is the the indicator is a little harder to see on Lumix cameras. So on the um, on the GH5, for example, it's placed just uh, to the left of the FN1 button. Uh, on the GH6 that I'm using here, we've got it just to the right of the mic icon, and it, it's a bit harder to see because basically what it is is just a really tiny debossed icon. It's not coloured, so it's it's really not easy to see at all. You can probably just about see it as I kind of move it in the light. So. This bit here on the um, on the Lumix cameras, that's our um, sensor plane indicator, and uh, essentially all it's doing is it's saying that the sensor is in line with that that part. So you know it's a circle with a line through it, and the line is going in line with where the sensor is. So it's kind of giving us a, a fairly good indication of the sensor depth within the body of the camera, which actually on the um on these cameras is not really that deep when you kind of compare it to um this is just an old older dslr so you've got the this is the five five d mark ii um and then you look at the sensor plane indicator on there you can see how far back into the camera that is it really is like it's a lot deeper so you've got um a good indication of where that is and the reason you might use it is if um, if you're filming with uh, manual focus and you've got say a focus puller for example what you'd actually do is take a tape measure from that point and go out to um, you know either the spots where the talent are going to be or the you know to, to their marks or just to subject and then essentially you've got your focus pulling point from that and like I say, that that is a manual process. So you're literally just taking a, a tape measure from that point and going out and measuring that. But also um, th there are some auto uh, sort of add-on um, focusing systems that also require you to have some alignment with this. So it, it can be useful for that as well. So it's really just more of a more of a reference for um, video focusing, and it may not be something you ever use. You know, we've got all the tools in the camera for um, for focusing, and not everybody uses a focus pull, so um, it, it's potentially not something you'd need. But at least hopefully now, you know, you, you kind of know know what it is. You'll actually see on some cinema cameras out there that um, they they potentially might have it on the side, and it might even have a hook or um, some kind of screw mount so you can actually measure off from that. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that helps. If it does, give the video a like and um, please subscribe.